Now to a developing story searching for solutions. Dozens of gun violence survivors and loved ones of gun victim violence victims boarded a bus from Peoria to Springfield this morning. Durante Matthews shows us how the journey to the Capitol is also a journey for closure, community and change. Loading the bus for a personal purpose, the destination Springfield. The passengers, survivors brought together through similar tragic circumstances. I lost two sons uh, to, to a gun violence, Reginald and Desmond. Clara Underwood Foreman, a Peoria pastor, credits the loss of her two sons as the driving force for her fight against gun violence. She, along with hundreds of others, are traveling across the state Thursday for Survivors Speak Illinois, uniting at the state capitol. We just uh, you have an opportunity to let our voices be heard. We have an opportunity to talk with the legislators. She says they want to expand employment protections for victims in the aftermath of crime. They're also calling for other reforms to support grieving survivors and break the cycles of crime. It's very important to me to uh, to make sure other families don't have to deal with uh, we that have already experienced that. They don't have to deal with that. And so if we can do anything that can prevent that, then I'm all in. For Peorian Rachel Parker, it's her first time taking the trip, and it's also coming up on three years since the unsolved murder of her son. I'm just hoping every day that somebody will find the courage in themselves to speak up and speak out about what they saw that night, because somebody out there knows. She says she's trying to find her place in helping the movement alongside those who understand the loss. It gives me some comfort knowing that I'm surrounded by people that really have those same feelings that I have and sometimes can't express them when they want to. In Peoria, Durante Matthews, WNBD News.